everyone, my name is Carly from the CPAP shop, joined here with Milton, one of our product experts, and we're going to review the differences between CPAP and BiPAP therapy. So first, could you just start out by explaining what BiPAP therapy is? BiPAP therapy is very similar to CPAP therapy, but there is a level of transition. First, there's usually two different pressures that are related to BiPAP therapy. Um, there's a high and then there's a low. Um, IPAP or EPAP are the actual translations. The inhale pressure, um, that is basically as you're having an apnea episode, it relieves the episode, but then there's an exhale pressure or EPAP. And what that does is it'll titrate between those areas and it will provide a better relief against dealing with a full CPAP relief that you would get here. So generally when you see a prescription for that, the IPAP is higher and then the EPAP is really low because some people have an issue exhaling against the actual full pressure of a CPAP unit. Gotcha. So you would say that BiPAP therapy is for people who have a tougher time breathing and need two different pressures to inhale and exhale that rather than CPAP therapy. Correct. Is, Absolutely. Is there any other functionalities between these two separate devices that make them a little bit different? Well, what's very cool is other than color, they're actually very similar in how they function externally. Internally is where those therapies do come in. Now, right now with the CPAP, with the auto CPAP, it transfers through a given range. Generally, four to 20 is kind of the general range that you'll see. And you, it's all focused on the inhale. In the case of BiPAP therapy, as alluded to before, this focuses on the inhale and the exhale. So this titrates between a range starting at a max of 25 and goes down to a pressure of four. So essentially you could have a full maximum inhale and issue with an apnea episode, but then as your exhale happens, the machine will automatically go down, go down to that lower pressure to make things easier to breathe. Okay, yeah, makes sense. And it's definitely recommended that you should check with your doctor as which um, you know machine should be used for you and your sleep health. Thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the differences between CPAP and BiPAP therapy, you can visit our website at www.thecpapshop.com. For any additional questions, make sure to call us at 866-414-9700. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks, Milton, for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye. Goodbye.